a guide to Portuguese Christmas food and traditions. Portugal might not be the most Christmassy country, but what it likes in wintry weather, it makes up for in colorful street decorations and delicious Christmas food. You know, Christmas is around the corner when the local cafes change their sweets display. Suddenly, the whole counter is full of Christmas cakes and fried dough pastries of numerous shapes and sizes. Beyond sweets, Portuguese Christmas food is simple, with a mix of seafood and meaty delicacies that vary from region to region. Whether you're spending Christmas in Portugal or just popping by for a visit, don't let this festive season go by without trying some traditional Portuguese Christmas food. Like the country itself, Portuguese Christmas has always had ties with religion. When it comes to traditional decoration, it's pretty common to see presepios, nativity scenes outside the church, or even by the road in the middle of a roundabout. For a long time, the presepio was the main Christmas decoration in the Portuguese home. Some have a small one with just the Hobby family, but others take it a step further, adding dozens of characters and picking up fresh moss to make the grass. As my people adopted the Christmas tree, the presepio took a backseat, but some families still have one. Another religious tradition that remains alive here is the Missa do Gal. Every year, families come together at their local church to attend this midnight mass on Christmas Eve before opening their presents. From mid-November onwards, Christmas lights also take over the streets and cities set up a big Christmas tree on their main square. In the north of Portugal, they also have bonfires known as the Madeiros. For Christmas Eve, we Portuguese like to have a light dinner, which we call consuada. On this day, most of us abstain from eating meat, opting instead for fish or seafood dishes. The fish of choice is usually bacalhau, also known as salt cod, the most prominent ingredient of Portuguese cuisine. This fish makes an appearance as a snack like in pastéis de bacalhau, codfish fritters, or as a main dish itself. While there are endless ways of cooking codfish, the Christmas recipe is quite simple. Known as bacalhau de consoada, this version combines boiled cod with potatoes, cabbage, carrots and hard boiled eggs, all drizzled with olive oil. Honestly, it's not the most exciting way of eating codfish, so some people like to jazz it up with a casserole like bacalhau gomstza or bacalhau con natas. In some regions, it's also common to eat octopus, either roasted with potatoes or mixed with rice. On the Christmas day, there's another family meal that features at least on the meat dish. It can be anything from roasted turkey to lamb or cabrita sad, baby goat. In the north of Portugal, you can also have roupa velha. This dish consists of using the leftover cold fish from the previous night and frying it up with thinky chopped potatoes and boiled eggs. As for drinks, this season is the ideal time to have a glass of port wine or try traditional liquors like ginjinha, a sour sherry liquor that goes perfectly with Christmas desserts. Portuguese Christmas desserts. When December comes around, every pastelaria in Portugal puts on a display of Christmas desserts. From traditional cakes to frying the pastries, here are the best Portuguese Christmas desserts you need to try. Bolhei is a traditional Christmas cake in Portugal. The name means King's Cake and it's a reference to the Three Wise Men, which we Portuguese call Três Reis. It appeared in Portugal around the 19th century. It's a kind of fruit cake but with a softer consistency similar to bread. The dough also includes a mix of nuts and dried fruits like raisins. From the outside, it looks like a wreath decorated with colorful candied fruits and powdered sugar.
There's another type called Bulgaria Queen's Cake, which is the same but without the candied fruit. But these cakes are usually available between Christmas and Epiphany on the 6th of January. Filhos are delicious, deep fried sweets made with eggs, flour and sometimes a bit of orange zest or pumpkin. Once fried locals, deep then straight, into a plate with a mix of cinnamon and sugar, carefully cutting each side. To make rabanadas or fatias douradas, you have to soak the bread slices in a mix of warm milk, sugar and lemon zest. Then do the same thing again but in an egg mixture. Once that's done, you need to fry it up until it's golden on both sides. Top it off with a bit of cinnamon and sugar, and that's it. As veers are kind of similar to apple turnovers, but slightly smaller, and instead of going in the oven, they are deep fried, which gives them a crispy texture. They come with different fillings, the most common ones are chickpea and almonds. Of course, it wouldn't be a Portuguese dessert without a dusting of sugar and cinnamon at the end. These soft donut-like balls are one of our favorite Christmas sweets and you can find the all over the country. Sonhos, mainstreams, in Portuguese, so with a name like this, you know you're going to get something tasty. The basic recipe contains eggs, flour and sugar, but you can also get it with carrots or pepkin.